Let's make a mistake, Murph. <laughs> no! 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 Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to talk about one of the biggest things in Season 12 and how it is going to be leaving the game, along with when it will be returning the next event and a couple of other things that you can look forward to. We're also going to give out 53 bucks today. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but now let's go ahead and talk about Apex. So sadly, one of the most fun game modes that we've been playing in Season 12, the new Control Limited Time mode, will be leaving the Apex Legends rotation tomorrow when we get a patch update for a bunch of bug fixes. Personally, even if you aren't a fan of the mode, I don't think it should actually be leaving the game rotation because when you actually look at the statistics of arenas versus battle royale battle royale has only 10 or 12 percent of people that have never ever played ranked in that game mode however when you go to arenas over 60 percent of the player base has never even finished their placement matches for ranked arenas and i'm not saying take out arenas either if people enjoy that game mode they should have that option but control should also definitely be left as just a regular game mode that we can hop into if we want but apex legends developers have let us know due to the fact that they don't want to split or fracture the player base this will not be a permanent mode however that does not mean that it won't be coming back devs have let us know that there will be new badges that will be earned for different types of control modes that will come out for different events later this season we do know of two other events that will be launching and that will be the unshackled and warrior event both which will be at either the end of march or in early april they're going to be in the second split and we know that because carl rindo actually let us know there there won't be a major game update until march 29th that is when you can expect the warriors event that will come with the crypto heirloom and other different ways to play the game of troll mode and that we can also expect hopefully around this time the next gen upgrade because you guys keep asking me truck tall said mid-season march 29th is basically the mid-season as the second split begins april 5th so expect a time frame around then speaking of new stuff coming to apex legends the mobile version of the game is going to be launching today on february 28th as announced by ea and respawn now i was talking to a popular apex legends mobile creator trying to get some information i'm out actually provided that and let me know the time frame of when we can expect a release if the game is not already out it will be releasing in 27 hours from when he told me this and i went ahead and actually put up the time frames for all these zones that will be getting the game right here i now broke it down further saying that the last beta is actually launched at this time as well and it makes sense because this is when most of these countries other than just argentina would be awake and it would be the time for most downloads to happen i generally cover apex legends general news but i will cover mobile when it leads into the regular game but if you're looking for mobile specific news i do recommend checking out i'm out i'll leave a link in the description he's very up to date on everything mobile. Now, about those control mode upgrades. When control mode does come back for these events and with these upgrades, we can also expect new ways to play control mode as Carl Rindo actually found in the files that there is a solo deathmatch game file there. It will be a free for all. Basically, you are playing solo and trying to get the most kills in the game. EA also has been sending out surveys to players asking what kind of game modes would you like to see for control? And they include everything from a capture the flag, a king of the hill, and then even an among us style mode, which I mentioned before, which I still have no idea how that would even work. And personally, while I'm very happy that control mode will be coming back with different variants, they need to just keep this as a permanent rotation for players to warm up. Arenas is not the success that Apex Legends was looking for. Once again, if you're a fan of the game mode, I'm not trying to knock you, but the statistics speak for themselves. When 60% of the player base hasn't even finished their ranked matches, it's just not a game mode that a lot of people are enjoying on mass scale. It would also be nice though, if they actually fixed the rank system in arenas, because I don't think that was even touched in season 12 and it's been broken since its inception along with that because there aren't really any varied rewards for arenas i think it's just a little bit different of an animation there's really no reason to grind getting 12 ap every single game and getting one loss and losing 167 points something needs to be reworked if you want this to be a viable regular everyday game mode for apex legends oh and if you were hoping to get the heirloom bloodhound skin it will now officially be in the mythic store starting tomorrow so you can spend your regular 150 shards on it i don't recommend it i would much rather personally have any of the other heirlooms but it's up to you on how you want to spend your shards hopefully going forward they do not include this as a collection event reward when they continue to add more prestige skins in let me know down below in the comments would you guys rather have arena mode or control mode and until next time legends keep slaying in the outlands and i'll see you out there